I've applied the L'Oreal Tree Match to one side of my face, you can see the coverage. This is one of the foundations that I go back to all the time. Um, it's really affordable, it's easily accessible on the high street, and I'd say that it's medium coverage but really, really buildable. You probably noticed that I did one layer all across the side of my face, and then I went in and did a little bit of extra coverage on my cheeks and cheekbones. That's where my rosacea tends to be the darkest, and where it seems to be the most noticeable through foundation. But I find that this foundation layers really well, it doesn't go cakey or bobbly or weird, it just covers really really nicely. I think you can see there that it, it doesn't look super flat, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a matte finish foundation, but I recommend this foundation for people if they have oily or dry skin. I have classic combination skin, so around my hairline, my temples and a little bit on my forehead I get really really dry skin, but I also have a super oily t-zone so it's quite hard to find foundations that leave me feeling comfortable but that I don't look like an oil sick by the end of the day. Considering how good the coverage is of this foundation, it's still really really lightweight. I think if my memory was wiped right now in a kind of men in black situation, I wouldn't be able to guess which side the foundation was on, which is really really good considering, like I said, how good the coverage is. It doesn't feel sticky or patchy or tight or anything, it just feels like normal skin really. Whenever people ask me what my favourite foundations are, there are two that come up every time. The first is Dior Skin Forever, which I will link below, I did a video similar to this one where I do a comparison. Um, but that's quite pricey, I think it's about £35, maybe a little bit more now. Um, so for some people that's just out of their price range. So I always try and recommend a high street version as well, and I would say that the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation is definitely my favourite from the high street. It's just... It's a brilliant all-rounder. I also really love the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte, which I've reviewed as well on this channel, so I'll do a link to that below as well. Um, but obviously, because it's matte, it's better suited to oily skin types. So if somebody comes to me and they have either a normal bunny rabbit ears skin type or they are oily or dry, then True Match is the one that I would recommend to them because I think it's just such a great all-rounder. I think it's still quite rare to find a foundation on the high street that has such lovely, lightweight, but high coverage finish. And um, I think for that reason, this is one of my Holy Grail foundations. So I'm really sorry that it's taken me so long to review this, but I thought I already had for some reason. I don't know, um, just had a bit of a brain fart there. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this helped show how good the coverage is and how well it covers redness. My skin, I think is actually the, this isn't, this isn't too bad for me, but I think this is the worst that it's looked in a video on YouTube. So hopefully this was a good time to show you how well it covers redness because yeah, this is, I, I went out drinking last night. So this is my punishment for daring to have um, sparkling wine. So, you know, I think you'll, I think most people react to alcohol. So I think a lot of you will know um, what I'm going through right now. But yeah, I think this was a very good test for the True Match and it just shows how well it covers the redness and it doesn't look super heavy or cakey or like I'm wearing um, like camouflage makeup or anything like that. It's just a really lovely finish foundation. I'm gonna stop waffling now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite foundations are or ones that you wanted me to try out for you and I will see what I can do. See you next time, bye.